So this is a race. Today is a good day. Nothing is going on here today. Yeah, I know. I'm like, I, I was like, okay, Jack, we need a good move. We're good. <laughs> Shash does mean uh, blind. Shash like kind of means cross-eyed in a way. Or yeah. Yeah. Shash will be. Yes. Do you speak any Turkish? My parents did. Yeah. I picked up a lot of the curse words. <laughs> <laughs> do they do they live in Turkey? No, they live in Lebanon. Well, Turkish cuss words are the best. I mean, you could make a real phrase. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> they like, 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 Ha, ha, ha. 
Jacques, you 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 took the key. You took the key with everybody else. Okay.
to this Czech guy. He was really, really good. The soccer he was in the finals too. She beat Coco. Who's that? Gores?
Hello to my friend John Giorgio. We are live again. There's a little bit of a delay with some technical difficulties, but now we are back. This is the Chouette. We don't have the player cam. We were having some technical difficulties. But there's one more cube under the baffle box. It's, it's right there. It fits nicely. Jacques, that one might be too big. There's a small one under the baffle box. Get it for you. some technical difficulties now we're kind of back and set up we have seven players in this chouette this is the chouette before the tournament the tournament will start in approximately two hours So blue is doubling here. They want to take two to keep the box. Food is very good. It's authentic.
Okay, go ahead. You want to take it? No, not because you were not. Yeah, you're minus, minus though. Minus, minus you were the lowest. Low 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 I take the low person generally. I'm going to take it. I'm going to take the low score. I'm going to gamble. This is pretty good for you. Just take it. You want to drop it? Yeah, I'll do a drop it. All right, that's fine. So we're splitting with you? Yeah. Well, you can throw it. Show me Vince in here any place, but Vince became the partner. We do that game with David. Yeah, they, yeah, they, we, we started, we supposed to start today. We started the game with So he hasn't played yet? No, I played the first game. No, he played the first game. So now where's Jack in the rotation? Yeah, we're back. Did everybody play? Because I was the first one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, you were the second. Oh, second. Oh, yeah. And he brought Jack a couple of fixes to get out. But uh, only did so Jack was the next. Oh, I got scared. Oh, right. Jack should have played the new player. Yeah. So only basically. So you didn't play the new player. You're not in. Doing a live stream. For our sweat? <laughs> yeah. yeah. This is the live stream. This is my mouse pad. <laughs> Put this it wasn't working on that. I, I tried it with texture. Huh? All right. What are we doing? Three each? Yeah. Okay. Three each? No, three. Oh, yeah, three each.
slot in the wrong point. What is wrong with you, John? <laughs> start commentating a little bit. One person double. Who is that? David Mulberg? Yeah. Okay. Now 6-2. Blue runs his back checker. Yellow's on the bar. 5-4. He dances. These checkers are actually the orange checkers. 6-5. So the 6 is forced. And the five he'll cover. Now he's looking for a two from the bar. No, he's not. He's a middle field. He's a middle field. Five one, he dances. Okay, Jacques doubles. Anybody else? Yeah. Me too. Are you offering a point? When one person doubles the box, the box is supposed to ask if anybody else is doubling so he can make a decision on all of them at the same time. So now four people are doubling. Wants to take one more to keep the box, so he must take the player. Jacques will roll. 6-5, perfect roll. Now he has some bad numbers like 5-1, 4-2, double three is another one. So he opens up 6 3, so the 6 is forced, and the 3 he'll come down. Now Jacques can hit with 4s and 7s. 6 2, he doesn't hit, but he safeties that back checker. 6 5, comes around, leaves the blot there. 4 2, Jacques will pick and pass. Now Ergen is looking for a 6 4 or 6 3. No, he gets a 3 2. Got excited about the 3. Now 3 1. So he can't safety. He's going to come in and come all the way around. Now 6-5 may play bad. Jacques is trying to co-commentate. 2-1 again. See what happens when you try to commentate Jacques? 6-5. Okay, so he comes in and he's looking for the 5. Brings it down. 4-2. So he picks and passes. Four three, so he plays safe. So now he's trying to save the gammon, minimize his losses. Just want to get crossovers as much as possible, perfectly into the six point. Double six bears off four checkers. Double five, one, two, three, four. He's going to need some more doubles. Four, one bears off two checkers. Double four, one, two, three, four. Now he can get it with a double two or higher as long as Jacques doesn't bear off both checkers. Now there are five numbers that save the gammon. He's not offering a settlement. We'll pay three. The value is, there are five numbers that save the gamut, so 31 numbers get four points, and five numbers get two points. Oh, double twos doesn't work. You're right. You're right. Only four numbers. 
So 32 minus 4 is 28, 36 of the way between 2 and 4. And I'm the partner of Josh. I'm the partner of Josh. Yes, you are. You guys are going to be a partner. That's all I needed to know. So these are the new orange checkers. Last time I had the yellow checkers, I, I feel like these are a little bit more visible. Um, if you're watching, John, please let me know how the visibility is of, of the checkers and the colors. I'm trying to uh, perfect the live streams to make sure everything looks good. He comes down. 5-2 for Vince. Now Vince is the player playing the yellow checkers at the bottom. 6-1 for Jacques. He makes his bar point. That's going to block in the back checkers somewhat. 5-4 for Vince. He's able to come out and hit on the 15 point. Now Jacques on the bar against the two point board. He rolls a 5-4. He's forced to come in with a 5 and he's going to anchor with a 4. 6-2. Vince anchors on the 15 point. In this commentary I'm not going to talk too much about strategy because the players can hear what I'm saying, but I will note what they're doing. David, you're going to be famous. Are you excited? I'm pretty good. I don't know. I'm backing up my car because I used to have a boat trailer on, etc. Trying to back up your driveway. I had to do it. I had to come out, out three times to get it right. And you hit three of the cars. Right? I did not hit any cars. I did not hit any curves. Use you. All right, Jacques is doubling. Who's your partner, Jacques? Uh, David Mulberg. David Mulberg. Twenty-five for yet for blue. Orange is one thirty-five. One twenty-five. Ten 
These are different checkers than last time. They show up a little better on the stream, I believe. Excuse me? Yeah, visibility on the stream. Maybe it's a UCLA fan. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> Are you putting that in there? <laughs> no, I'm not putting it on. What did he roll? Double four. Oh. Jacques makes the prime. Six one. He's gonna bring it in. Vince comes in and hits. He's trying to form a counter prime now. Six three comes in. from here? That's legal. Don't listen to him, Just making sure he sees all his options. That's all. Bases are the bases.
Oh, the 4-1, that was bad. All that work, all that work. See, five times four. You got 20 points. So the box got 20 points. Four points each on five cubes. So they split it. Did you get gas? I wonder if I can reverse this to see if hmm, it's somewhat of a player's cam. So that's somewhat of a player's cam. Action, you guys. You guys have cube action. Cube action, Reza. I dropped. Now we can see Patrick's green hat for St. Patrick's Day. No, you're off. You're coming a little this way. There, say hello. Hello. And hello, hi, too. Besides hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Yeah, everyone's passing. Go yellow. Everyone has passed. What's going on? Trust. There we go. Pass. Irvin is going to stick up the patient through the box. Yeah. Go yellow. Everyone is passing. So far. Hello, Ian Terry, my friend. What about the last one? Who did you ask? Who did you act? Yeah. Vince. Okay, anybody want to? I'll do it, actually. Okay, anybody else? I'll do it too. I'll do it too. Patrick? Who's taking this one? Ergen's trying to take for the box. Does he go with the majority? This is Patrick, right? Yeah. He's going with the two? I could ask him. I don't know. He's in the restroom, I think. He's doing extra in the restroom. Any, anybody else extra? Well, it's only Patrick, but he's not here. So how do extras work? Is it majority or is it majority? Patrick. Extra? Patrick. It's up to him. No question, no. He said no? No, he didn't say no, but... He didn't respond, so I don't know. Patrick. He went to the restroom, so no extra for him. Hello, Eric Peterson is joining us. Eric, I was hoping you would be able to uh, attend today. Yeah, yellow can't turn this around very easily with that big stack on the five point, the blot, strip checkers in the outfield.
pastor should have ended it at the end of regulation. It's right there for him. Thank you, Ian. Hello, Denise. How are you? Welcome. We're doing a live stream. You are? Yes, ma'am. A live stream? Stream. Oh, Some people are screaming on the stream. <laughs> who are you, who, who you beaming it to or streaming it to? On YouTube. Really? Yeah. Is there sound? Can they hear us? They can hear us. You want to say hello? Hello, everyone. They can't see you. The camera's pointing it's the other okay. way, but they can see. You to get some chairs up on here. Let me see if I can do the camera the other way. Yeah, watch the stuff here. Yeah. Oh, this one back to the commentator cam. Let's try to add a player cam here. How are you? Is he back yet or is he still uh, slow? Uh, three, three, three. Yeah. I like your hat, Patrick. Thank you. Hey, Chief. I'm not having some fun, Steve. And some <laughs> I'm going to see if I can add a player cam. Oh, these ones are the orange ones. They look close to yellow. Ergen, come take a look at this. How is that looking now? We got the player cam. But now the uh -uh. commentator cam is not working, right? Oh no. Oh that's funny. Including Ned Where is this? I 
some technical difficulties now the commentator cam is working but the player cam looks like it's frozen let's see what I can do Looks like because of technical difficulties, we can only have one additional camera, the player cam or the commentator cam. Let's ask the audience what they think. Do a little bit more commentary. David's playing the blue checkers at the top. He rolls a 6 2. He's going to anchor and play 13 11. Oh, 
Now Reza rolls a 6-4, comes out and hits on the 14 point. Oh, so Jonah Seawald is watching. Thank you for watching. There's Jonah and Ian as well. And I have some interesting news for Jonah. I don't know if you have heard, but there is a gentleman named Paris who runs the Silver Lake Backgammon Club. And I understand he takes lessons from Jonah, so that's fantastic. And he's going to be able to uh, help, hopefully, in the upcoming uh, Los Angeles tournament. So that's great. see if that works but I think the other camera gets frozen when I do that all right well it seems like the uh, I don't know what the issue is, but we're having some technical issues, so we can't have both the commentator cam and the player cam, but the viewers prefer the, co the player cam, which I agree with, so we'll do that. Let me see if I can adjust the board slightly. Sorry. They have the Silver Lake Backgammon Club on Instagram. And now I started a Los Angeles Backgammon Club on Instagram. We're trying to get some social players. Tomorrow's our first event. It's going to be at the El Mariachi Grill in Encino. It's a fantastic restaurant close to where I live, close to my office, and close to where we play on other days. There's also the Venice Backgammon Club outstanding club club they get a lot of players if anyone has a club out there who wants a shout out let me know in the comments so there's a 4-3 he's looking to possibly play behind Looking at that, that's what he does. It was 5-3, 4-3, 6 one, six numbers. He did hit. Now Reza needs to come in. <coughs> 6-3 dances. 
Jacques rolls a 5 2. That's the 5 and that's the 2. Rez is looking to come in. He doesn't. He rolls a 4 3. Jacques looking to continue the attack. 4 1. Safeties. He comes down. Still looking at it. Okay. 6 1, just in time. Well, you know what? Sometimes when you. Hi, Vince. Oh, I thought that was Jacques. It turns out it's David. Damn, we must be smarter than we look. Well, I am. We have to be. We have to be. Turn it around. Turn it around. Hello to the Ten Tenerife Backgammon Club. I believe the Tenerife Backgammon Club is in uh, Spain, if I'm not mistaken. It's in the Canary Islands. Is that correct? You guys want to hit down here? Where is Tenerife? No. Let me see if I can look it up. Oh, the one on the Yes, th that is correct. Hello, how are you? Welcome, Hello. welcome. Hello. We have some more friends joining us. How are you? Welcome. Good to see you. Please come in. I'm good. And yourself? Yes, Canary Islands in Spain. I believe that's off the coast of Africa, right? That's off the coast. Yeah, it's part of Portugal. It's part of Portugal or Spain? Portugal and Spain. It's off the coast of Africa. It's, it's much further south. Off the coast of Morocco, near Western Sahara. Very good. I see. I see the Tenerife Backgammon Club share their pictures on Facebook all the time, and you guys have some fantastic pictures. Looks like you have a great club. Congratulations. So, do they speak Spanish there, or do they speak? Uh, Arabic, perhaps? I don't know. They speak Spanish. Very good. Se habla español. I assume they speak the Castilian Spanish and not the Spanish that we're more familiar with here in Los Angeles, which is more of the Mexican dialect. Double six. One, two, three, four. He's trying to save the gammon. <clears throat> Let's see if he can. Six, two. Jacques bears off, or David bears off two checkers. Reza rolls a four, one, brings two checkers in perfectly. David rolls a six, two, bears off two checkers. Five, four. Comes into the six point with a four. Good, he plays down 13 8. The other one would have filled in the gap, but I think that was a blunder. 3 2. Didn't matter. All right. 4 3. Has some, a few misses. 3 1, 2 1. Double six, he got it. He got off the gammon. <laughs> oh, there are Canarian words incorporated. That's interesting. You did something. <laughs> Uh, it depends. We have to perform. I'm going to go to the house. 
Alright, so there are Canarian words. Speaking of canaries, this yellow checker color looks a little bit like a canary color. If I'm not mistaken. I believe there's a color called canary. So if you're watching on the stream, you can see the board on the main portion of the screen and the player cam is to the right. The near player, wearing green right now, is, is Onik. He's playing the yellow checkers at the bottom. And the far player is David. He's playing the blue checkers at the top. And this is nice because it's a chouette and you can see the players on the side watching. So those are small chouette cubes. If you're not familiar with a chouette, it's when multiple players can play together. This is a non-consulting chouette. Hello. Hi. How are you? Good to see you again. Can you explain is that they're like blackjack? Shuets. Would you like to watch from here? Please. please. Uh, why don't you come on this side okay. so you're not blocking? Oh, yeah. Thank you very much. My pleasure. I have my good friend Denise von Filio joining me. The commentator camera is not on. Okay. But they can hear you the, through the other camera. Hello, world. Hello. <laughs> Denise, I was uh, very happy to recently have the videos I did with you and a variety of other women for Women's uh, National Women's Month. That was a lot of fun. It was, and I'm grateful that you thought of it and that we're getting more women involved. I'm really happy My about pleasure. That. I did look at that um, Women in Backyam and Facebook group that you showed me. Tried to join, but apparently it's only for women, <laughs> which is fine. <laughs> What happens if you identify as a woman? Is that okay? You would have to ask the admins. <laughs> ask the administrators. I'm friends with, who are the administrators on that? Um, let me get their names. Uh, I can't believe really this was, but she's friends not. with um, them. I think What's one of them is uh, Becca Thompson. I think so. Over here. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Becca Thompson is my good friend from... Uh, Somewhere on the East Coast. So she was explaining that it's only for women, which is fine. And April. Oh, April Messick, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I know her from the USBGF. Okay, yes. so. 4 3. He played illegally, but we have it over there. That's legal. He played a 3 2. Now David's rolling. Four three. He anchors on the seventeen point. So that's a five two. <laughs> Great man to think alike. There we go. I know. So some we got some water, the flavored water, black raspberry, sparkling ice. Cheers, my friend. Cheers. <laughs> Salute in Spanish. We have uh, some people watching oh, from the uh, Tenerife Backgammon Club. Yeah, I heard you talking about. Are that you familiar with, with, with where that's located? I think we were talking and trying to determine it's off the coast of North Africa. 
Correct. It's a Span- I believe it's a Spanish colony. So he comes in with a one. And he's going to come out. This is what I love about backgammon is that it really is a global game. It's played everywhere. Yes, it is. And here we are in Los Angeles talking to people like literally half around the world. Well, that's the magic of YouTube and the live streaming. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of our friends watching that I'd like to welcome. My friend John Georgiou from the UK. He does a lot of the streaming as well. And Eric Peterson who lives here in town, uh, at least part time. And my friend Ian Terry from Houston. Uh, Jonah Seawalt, I believe he's in Denver or somewhere in Colorado. And our friends from the Tenerife Backgammon Club in the Canary Islands. All around the world. Oh, he got the hit. I don't think you saw it last week, but I was able to have a, I don't know if you see on the uh, screen that was, there was a commentator cam was at the upper right <coughs> because of some technical difficulties. It looks like splitting the shoe. They are. Okay. So this was a seven-handed chouette. Once we get to eight players, it splits into two four-handed chouettes. So if Onik wins, he will beat the box. If he loses, Vince will beat the box. Vince will beat the box. I would be playing if it no, wasn't no, no, so no. rich. <laughs> yeah. I can't this one, this one, they're just playing for fun. Yeah. Oh, they are. Oh, that's yeah. nice. Yeah. I love that. Oh, are two people coming in? I don't think I have two people coming in, then you're set. Two said you can't start. Time to give the box to the other box. That's only three? No. Those two. Okay. So there were seven players and two were coming in. So the first five remain in the first chouette. Um, and the new two people with the last two on the list go to the new chouette. So there's nine now. What about Vince and Ovid? Uh, no, they, they stay. Two people coming in. So we'll be four Looks five. like Orange has a back game ah. now. So the, the timing is the terrible. And I need okay, three, two. Is that Reza? Oh, Onig. Onig. Okay. Oh, there we go. That's how we do it. Much better. Okay. So for anyone who's familiar with OBS, I was trying to do the OBS and I have the OBS screen on the left. <clears throat> and I was able to uh, make it larger so we can see it a little better here. I'm sure you can see it okay on YouTube. Oh, my friend Gore is here. How many did we have last week up here? Like 25? Oh. It was a good number. It's a very good number. <laughs> oh, Jacques, I wanted to ask you. Um, the dog the next week? I got it. Yeah. Um, Are you all good? Yes. Um, with the dogs, can I give them fruit? <laughs> Um, if you'd rather I didn't, it's okay, but they were just dog, looking. I know, I know. <laughs> you want to give them dog treats? I have dog treats in the condo in the kitchen. Okay. I'd rather just give them dog food, because okay. otherwise they get sick everywhere. You Thank know, you. You change their diet. I understand. Okay. okay. But we have dog treats in the kitchen. Okay. Literally on the counter, because everyone's going to get that. So. What do you need from me? No. Turn a minute, please. Yeah. And then the result of that. <laughs> So, excuse me, later we will be having the tournament in in approximately one hour. Let me ask the viewers, uh, this is uh, the first or second time, or maybe it's the third time that I'm streaming a live chouette. Uh, We also have the tournament coming up. I wonder what the people like to prefer to watch. Do you prefer watching 
Chouettes or tournament matches? Let me put that in the chat so people can answer. We'll be streaming both today. Normally what we have, Denise you're familiar with that, we have our tournament every week and then usually before and after we have chouettes for people who get there early or if they're knocked out of the tournament. Hello Gore, we're live streaming on YouTube, you want to say hello? <coughs> the camera's on the other side but they can hear you say hello. You hello. Know? There, there, he said hello to Denise, he doesn't say hello to me. That's how it works. That's how it is in Armenia. You have to be polite to the women, but to the men, you can be rude, right? <laughs> exactly. Aren't I the lucky one today? <laughs> Denise, do you know what kind of food they have in Armenia? Um, it's, I think it's similar to like what in, in the Mediterranean diet, a lot of um, lamb, um, meat-centric. Yeah. And, I think I'm like, it's, uh, it's called Armenian food. Well, yeah. You're very funny. <laughs> it's true, it's true. Gore, is that right? In Armenia, do they have Armenian food? They have some Armenian dishes, they specific have some, ones. Yeah. Yeah. Was I right about meat? But overall, Mediterranean. Meat? Mediterranean food? Turkish, Armenian, it's similar. Wait, I was talking to the dog. <laughs> we have a lot of diversity here in our group. We have Vince and Odig actually facing each other. They're both from Lebanon and Armenian descent, if I'm not mistaken. Is that correct? And then we have Ergen, who's now playing the blue checkers at the top, originally from Turkey. I know the Turks and Armenians have outstanding foreign relations with each other. Uh, and Jacques' family is also from Lebanon and Cyprus, right? Lebanon, Lebanon but now they is live in... this political news or Belgium? <laughs> 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 uh, we have... That brings people together. Yeah, it brings yes, people together. From everywhere. From all different countries. And where are you from? I was born in Iran and I grew mm -hmm. up here in L.A. Awesome. I'm a native from L.A. I'm Denise is here. from Los Angeles. How old were you when you came over? I was about one. one. I was a baby. Oh, you were a baby. I was about your height. Four. Okay. <laughs> <Big baby. laughs> uh. Jonah prefers the tournament. Thank you for letting me know. <clears throat> The tournament will start at approximately 3 p.m. local time. <clears throat> Patrick uh, oftentimes starts the tournament late, otherwise he runs a tight ship. For those of you who know him. <clears throat> Who's the box over there? friend, uh, <laughs> my friend Arnold is here. Oh, I don't know. Let's see. What time is it in, in Tenerife? Okay, you? Oh, oh it's, it's the same as So okay. it's seven hours ahead. Seven. Okay. Uh -huh. <clears throat> so what do we have in terms of upcoming USBGF tournaments? Let's see if we can find that. Go to usbgf.org, full calendar. So the Ohio State Championships are coming up next weekend. <clears throat> 
let's see. That's organized by Joe Miller, and a lot of people were talking about it. I believe it's in Cleveland, if I'm not mistaken. Middleburg Heights, Ohio. How many of the viewers watching on the live stream will be going to the upcoming tournament in Ohio? Let us know. And then what do we have after Ohio? We have, I believe, the Cherry Blossom in April. So I did an interview with Ben Friesen to discuss that. That's going to be a really good one. And then the Chicago Open in May. That's a lot of fun. That's run by my good friend Rory Pascar. That one's a nice one, and it's different. It's unique because it's a, he does a Swiss format. Are you familiar with the Swiss format, Denise? I'm not sure. So um, in a regular tournament format, they have a bracket. So if you win, you advance to the next round, and you play the winner of whoever's in the adjacent portion of the bracket. Mm -hmm. However, in a Swiss format, it works a little differently. Uh, the first round, people are uh, selected at random. And then after that, people with like records play each other. So after the first round, all the winners play each other. So all the players that are 1-0 play each other, and all the players that are 0-1 uh, play each other. So the losers play each other. I always okay. joke that everyone's a loser in my book. <laughs> so Well, playing um, against you, a win is a very difficult thing, Alex. I don't know if you know that, if you're aware. But <laughs> sometimes. My record's not so bad, but yeah. other times it's uh, there's a lot of luck involved. So. You know, when you have a stronger player play against a weaker player, uh, depending on the difference, it's, you're only really like a, maybe a 60-40 favorite or probably maximum a 70-30 favorite. Uh, well, and the weak player can annihilate the strong player if they get the good dice. Oh, that's always the case. Yeah. That's true. Well, what would you say is the greater... Um, aspect of this game is it luck or skill and how would you categorize 60 think, 40 50 50 i think in the long run skill is, is much more important because the luck's going to even out that's the first time anybody's ever said that and i've been asking this question for decades and it, the debate rages really but in a single <laughs> game or a single match the luck can be a significant factor but just like in like by and large over time it's definitely you think skill is more important because the luck will even out of course it does make sense yeah so then just in general would you say it's like 80 20 skill over luck or can you categorize it like that or not really i think what they have done is they've looked at uh, strong players and weak players and looked at the difference between the strengths and then depending on the difference, uh, they've calculated the winning percentage or the approximate winning percentage for the winner or how much of a favorite the, the, the stronger player is. Okay. And I think it probably maxes out at 70-30 or so. Okay. I would have said it's more like 60-40, but that's... That's probably more reasonable yeah. for in general. Well, because, you know, with... With the dice, I mean, if you if you get, let's say you roll a double six and it's it would be a good roll, but you make a bad play, is it still a good roll? I think it's still a good roll. You just made a made the wrong play. Right, before. right. Yeah. Oh, board camera is out of focus. Thank you for letting me know. Let me try to adjust that for you. is that is that better let's see is that focus better uh, I really appreciate the feedback because this is one of the first times we're doing the live stream what is with your lights how did you do that <laughs> that's, that's the uh, the manufacturer does that oh that's awesome I love it so it does look a little bit better in terms of the focus on my screen here I'm glad that Zimmar mentioned that. I don't know. 
Oh uh, wait, how many people in this game? Five. And how many is that one? Uh, well, hello there. Five in your game? Hi, sweetheart. Okay, so I've we have dogs here, in case. <laughs> well, can they hear us? No. Okay. Yeah, we have dogs, and they're adorable. And we came here for a visit in a little sketch. No? It's telling me I'm very lucky. That's no particular That's a very good dog. Okay, good. How about you? Do you have dogs? I don't. I'm allergic. Oh, you are? Uh-oh. Should I tell them to go away? That's okay. Okay. Who plays the other dogs? What's that? No, I would never. <laughs> the camera rotated slightly. I'm, I'm going to try to re rotate the camera. So okay. You see how it's off slightly? Yeah. Let me know if it's better when I adjust. Good, yes. At, uh, no, back, back the other way, Alex. Just a little bit the other way. Go, go back the other way, clockwise. Um, ben, yeah, that's okay. Tiny bit. Good, 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 good. Yes. Make sure you're getting Dave's good side. Yeah. Oh, oh, great. We have another customer. Hello. Sax is in the house. We have my friend Steve Sax watching. Actually, he just joined us. We have some viewers watching. Steve? Okay, goodbye. All right, David says goodbye. So let's see, there are nine trackers in the zone. Blue has no development. Yellow has a three-point board. Everyone's doubling. Jack, <laughs> let me find him. If he's not here, he will go with the majority. He's a partner in the box. Then he goes with the majority of the box. Jack, but is Arnold in this game? Yeah. Two, that's I love these. Did, Alex's keyboard has these changing colors that I'm just a, a big fan of. They're awesome. <laughs> I keep looking at them. Very, very nice. You might as well have a little fun if you're able, right? Both Through cube action. So you have to take 
Patrick has a question about this last week when Buddy there are different levels. He was doubling. Outside the level. Not doubling the fight. I'm like, I never somebody beat you. I never seen that. Or somebody beat you. 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 That's what I said. You cannot change who you play with. <coughs> oh, and I have a really cool app for the weather. And this is this is what Henry is yeah. on the map. And this is the nice forecast. <laughs> nice weather there, huh? <laughs> Looks like you're going to get some rain Friday, Saturday, and Sunday a little in Tenerife. But... It's a nice day today, though. Mid 70s. It's kind of like how here. It, well, it's a little bit cooler here, I think. I just thought it was something I need to go take a look at. What's that? Oh, um, I think he's in the kitchen. Um, Oh, Dice Man is here. <clears throat> Hello, Dice Man USA. If I'm not mistaken, that's Carl from uh, Houston, I believe. All right. Yellow is likely going to win uh, Gammon here. You see some people wearing their green shirts today because it's St. Patrick's Day. Coffee. I hope I play him then. All right. I believe so. He's the owner of the Dice Man USA website. There's a website, right, where he sells dice. Yeah, I believe so. Yeah. He has a lot of good options there. Yes and yes. 
if I'm not mistaken, I believe there's only one size dice option. There aren't the largest, larger ones. Uh, for this chouette and this board for the live stream, I'm using the larger size dice so it's more visible. All right. I think a dark dice with white hips would be more visible. So what I found in the terms of the color of the dice relative to the board uh, is it depends on the color of the field. So if the field is dark, uh, looks better when you have white dice with dark pips. Okay. And if the field is light, vice versa. Here the field is intermediate. Mm -hmm. uh, interesting. Arnold! But the opaque dice work a lot better than the translucent dice in I terms would, of visibility. Yeah, I would agree with that. Because there's no glare. Yes. Same with checkers. I've noticed that there are certain checkers that have reflective surfaces, and those sometimes you see a glare. It would be distracting, yeah. All right, now double from Jacques. Is Jacques doubling? Where is people? Come on. Arnold! Cue action! This is what happens. It's like my house. People <laughs> yell from the other Steve, side of the house. Arnold! Need a count. That may be a good count. Oh, he only sells opaque dice. Okay, so that's good to know. Can you give me a count? Come on, he needs to have somebody back for you. Can I get some fruit? Do you want some? Um, no, thank you, but I'll come there with you. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Anyway, whatever. If I missed an opportunity to double, I can't double. Well, this is the second time that I've done this. Which is calling me. All right. So I'm just saying, if I'm not here, I'm screwed. Or it's my opportunity to do. Yeah, I got it. Yeah. And this, double. Okay. Yeah. Double. Or cube action. Cube action, too. Oh, I got it. Chicago, and I was getting pretty good odds, like plus 235 or something. The Kings beat him 5 nothing. Yeah. Yes, Al. Hello. The camera is facing that way, so you can say hello. Oh, nice. Hi, Margie. I don't even know Margie. David made the bar point to block the back checkers there. Oh, there are no back checkers. All right, leaves the shot looking for an ace. He doesn't get it. He gets a 6-3. 
makes his five point. Only he's looking to cover, he does perfectly. Double two, that's two of them. And he's gonna bear off two checkers. Trying to get a gamut out of this. Four one, he's gonna bring it down. And then bring one in, try to save the gammon. Three one. Three one, he played that way. Double six, so he's out, he's gotta bring something out. Two. Three four. Six four, the six is forced. And the four, he can play off the six or off the five. He plays off the six. Five one for David. He's going to play six to one, and three to two, saving a six. Six four, doesn't leave a shot yet. Five three, still stays back. 4-3, the 4 is forced and the 3 will bear it off. 5-4, so now is he going to stay? He's hoping for a 4-1, 5-1, or 6-1. Doesn't get it, he gets the 6-3. David's likely to get off the gammon. He gets two crossovers there. Owen is going to need some doubles to get the gammon here. 2-1, not the right double. 2-1 for David. David's cooperating. 6-4 for Onig. There's off two checkers. 3-2. Still possible with a double three or higher immediately. 6-1. Still possible. 5-3. No. David saved the gammon. Selecting NCTs will be starting. I'll get that for you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, kind sir. Oh. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, the tournament is scheduled to start in approximately 30 minutes. So we probably have time for a few more games before the tournament. Once the tournament starts, We'll see. We'll see who plays. Depends on the draw. Who would people like to see streamed? Who do we have? We have Steve, Bergen. Me.
Comers or players close in PR? Okay. <coughs> Arnold doesn't realize it, but he's blocking the view. This is okay. Say hello. Hello. What didn't I realize? The camera was right on your back. What are you, what are you enjoying right now? dried mango and um, something else I forgot the name. You have a very <laughs> specific diet, right Arnold? Yes, I'm a vegan. Vegan and also you, you're I'm allergic. allergic to gluten and soy. Oh well. Wow. So I'm not easy. Yep, some people aren't easy. <laughs> Um, Arnold, I'm allergic to nonsense. <laughs> Do you have kids now? <laughs> yeah, that's why I have to leave the house so much because of my allergies. Uh -huh. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. Remember, we took it back. Yeah, yeah. Multiple suits. I said, I don't care. I thought they already had a man on the bar. Yeah. Uh, okay. They were actually here. So, I, I don't uh, very much care. Yeah. I would have just been sitting there about saying anything. Who's yeah, yeah. 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 I'm used to these kinds of no noises. Hello to Eric and Jonah. Maybe we should have taken off Some of the viewers may not know Eric, but he has a beautiful collection of boards, checkers, dice, cubes, everything. So today we're doing the live stream of the tournament on St. Patrick's Day. Last week some people couldn't make it because it was the Oscars, but it turns out this week, so he makes a big blunder in, on that opening 4-3. That's, I believe, the third best play. And... Last year, it, last week it was Oscar, so some people didn't show up. But today is St. Patrick's Day, so most people showed up. Even Patrick showed up with his green hat. I don't know if you saw That's that on the It's Patrick's Day. Day. Yeah. I always like to keep something green in my wallet. Life is better when you have green in your wallet. Whether or not it's St. Patrick's Day, I like to maximize the amount of green in my wallet. I think maybe the, the people from Tenerife may not get that. Right? The, the, I said, hi, Cece. I said, I like to, it's St. Patrick's Day, and I said, I, I like to always keep something green in my wallet yeah. as much as possible. But yeah. there, there are some people from Spain who. Have you ever been to Spain? Of course. What color is their currency? Their currency? I think it's orange. Oh, okay. So it's not green. They, they wouldn't understand that joke. And the dollar bill is green, but I don't know about the currency of, of the, uh, of the uh, euro, the euro. The euro currency. So we have some friends watching from the Canary Islands, yes. which is part of, uh, yeah, part of uh, Spain. Yes. So I assume they have the same euro currency? Um, I don't know. I presume the whole nation is under the euro. They would also be because they're protected of Spain. Oh, from the UK and half Irish. No, the, the, from the, uh, Irish, you know, the, the person from the Tenerife. For the, I would say Aaron Gobra. I'm sorry? Aaron Gobra. What does that mean? Up is Ireland. Up. Oh, okay. Up Ireland. So today is Irish Day. It's the Euro. I looked it up. Oh, Denise looked it up. Thank you. Yes. And I'm not wearing green, but I have... No, oh, you have the green nails. Sparkly green and gold. That's very nice. Well, because you're looking for the pot of gold. <laughs> That's so. right. That's right. So what was the verdict of who they want to watch? Well, one person said up and comers or players close in PR. Well, that widens the field. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know everyone's PR other than most of them are terrible. Does that count, Denise? I'm sure mine is down there. <laughs> you got to hire a PR firm. We need to hire a PR firm. I found, Denise, that it's really important to be fair, so I like to insult everybody equally. <laughs> Whenever possible. I learned that from Phil Simborg. 
All right, Arnold rolls a 4-2 from the bar. He comes in with a 2, plays safe with the 4. Six four. Jock runs all the way. Three one. So he hits with the one, and let's see how he plays the three. There we go. He finds it. Six three for Jock. Comes in with the three and down with the six. Arnold needs a six here. Double three. Not the six he wants. Not the right six. At least it's a six. Look on the bright side, right? I don't know if you can see on the camera, uh, Steve is gossiping with Vince on the right hand side. Probably, yeah, can, can see, 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 right probably right. complaining about something. With the body language and the hand gesture, yeah, I'm I, sure it was a bad role. People, uh, have, you ever, have you ever noticed anyone complain playing back him and Denise? Oh, no, never. No, they never complain. I, I never do. They're always very happy with all of their roles. Yes. Is that a double three again? It's the same double three, oh, still figuring three. it out. Okay. <laughs> figuring out what to do. Hello, Steve. Me? How you doing? Steve, people want to watch you still on the live stream, but you're... <laughs> no answer. Steve hasn't got enough sleep, so he's a little tired today. Whereas me, last night I slept like the dead. <laughs> you slept like a dead? It's so like nice a dead to baby? Get a good sleep. <laughs> oh, you slept like a baby. No, because babies wake up every two hours. Oh, okay. I slept and did not get up. <laughs> you, slept, you slept like a log. I slept like a log. Like a log. <laughs> All right, 4 3 for Arnold. Oh, it's Arnold and Jock. Arnold and Jacques, 6-1. Oh. Can I get a little picture of your laptop? I want to show it to my wife. Yeah, of course. Two six is forced. Four three. In and out, or he's going to come in somehow with either the four or the three. And he comes out all the way. Double one. Okay, so let's see what he does. He's going to anchor. Hit. Hi, sweetheart. I know you're hungry. That leaves some blots. But Jacques danced. 4-1. Makes his th four point. 4-3 for Jacques, 5 point board is nothing to Jacques. 3-1, he comes in right away. Fortuitous roll. Alright. You got a new customer? New customer. Good dogs. Here, here's the watch dogs. Patrick, you got a new customer. My good watch dog. Yes, you are. Thank you for doing such a good job. I'm Patrick. 4-1. So, Ergen, no. maybe one more game after this one. Okay. And OCY. Yeah. They'll give you the all right, Onig, the next game will be the last game before the tournament starts. Not this game, the next game. This is about 50. One, one more game? Last game. Everybody. God damn it. Don't start a new game. Come here. Stop. Can't remember your names. Unless unless this game takes another 15 minutes, we'll have time for one more game. Reggie. Good boy. Hi, Nicky. There we go. 
Six three, in and out. Now Jacques can hit with a six. Gets a four two. Six one, also forced. All right. Four three. So the three is forced. Well, he could have hit, but didn't want to hit the ace. No, no, no. You're not no. no. Nosey. Another hit. Wow. Yeah. I told you this game is going to go on forever this way. It's like basketball. Three. Yeah. The fourth period of basketball game can take 45 minutes. <laughs> right. The timeouts, all sorts of free stuff. Free throw, foul, timeout, free throw, foul, timeout, free throw, foul, timeout. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Oh. Six, three comes in and comes out. Six, one, he clears the bar point. Slippery checkers. Another six, three, must not have played it right last time. Now five, three for Jacques. Yeah, he, he kind of had to play the, the three off the five point, and then after that, he would have he didn't want to leave an odd number of checkers um, yeah, on the six point yeah. with an even on the five point. Now five two, he bears off two checkers. He can bear off aggressively against Orange's board. Four yes. one, he brings two checkers ahead. Now six three is a bad roll. Six one's okay, although he has some Possible awkward numbers weekend. next. Possible weakener. Like uh, six three is also a bad number. Two one's okay, so he has an option of a few different plays. He's looking at two off. He's looking at pick and pass. He's looking at the banana split. Pick, pick and pass. Was that the right option, That's that's probably what I would have done. Wins more gammons. No maybe, maybe now 2-1. Last game, everybody. Last game, everybody. All right, I guess we, we did not have time for another game. So, soon. So there we go. Patrick will be doing the draw for the tournament soon. This will be the last game on the stream. And I'll go prepare the clock and the scoreboard. All right, that's it. Jacques. Uh, it's nice having him tell us how to play. <laughs> I mean, we can hear him oh, yeah. clearly, and you say, right. "Well, he's got two options yeah. here." Yeah, right. <laughs> so, or you know, so he's like giving instruction. Oh, he, did. he didn't help me though. Well, the dice didn't help you either. You no. got some horrendous no. rolls. Mm -hmm. No, I needed no more fun. help from them than him. Yeah. He couldn't help me with the rolls I got. Yeah, it's right, right on the rolls. Oh well. We love the game anyway, right? Absolutely. <laughs> Can't stop playing. And I didn't get him, so I did well. Did you buy it? Yeah. yeah. Thank you. All right, can you say that? Okay. 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 Do we have the clocks? I have a clock here. A clock. Wow, that's true. Jack, did you find your guys by chance? Your other board? 
Alex, are you going to need this chair? Yes, please, thank you. Well, Joe Russell wasn't close. Ten minutes is long ago. today, am I? Thank you. Little bird. 
Steve Sachs. What did you say? Yeah. Steve Sachs at that point? Do you have a board here, Steve, or thank you very much? Thank you very much for that. Play with the fish dunk on the clock? With the clock, yeah. Rush, play CC. Rush and CC. Hi, guys. Hey, guys. I said hi. Morning, you play Betty. Betty and Morning. Hey, guys. Yeah. Yeah, I Alex, you play Joe Russell. Yeah. Alright. did you play at the end of Russell? Reza. I actually did. I played the one two. Two 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 Seven. 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 Seven.
I'm watching it here.
I think I might have bought my. So it's in California. It's signed. Spell your name, Oni. Huh? O N N I G S E R R A Y D A R I A N. It's seven, right? Yeah. Yeah, text me the link if you can. Do you want blue or yellow? 
I'll be the blue because I'm set.